What's up guys, welcome back to Ify Chronicles. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can deploy an NFT collection on ZK Sync. So basically the goal here is for us to diversify our transactions a little bit on ZK Sync. Also, this is a super cheap way to get involved with ZK Sync and also this project is actually tokenless. So hopefully in the future, if they do decide to um, create a token, hopefully we can also receive an airdrop for that. But again, the main goal here is just to diversify our transactions a little bit for the ZK Sync airdrop. So once you come to the website here, we have various options. You can create a new project, which we have the first option, which is addition. We have drops and we have generative art. Um, last time I actually went to drops. So I'm going to use that and we have um, some information that we need to add here, which is the project name, token symbol, the project description and also adding the artwork here. So let me go ahead and connect my wallet real quick, which is already on ZK Sync, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, I'm going to sign this to verify my account. There we go. So as you can see, I don't really have a lot of funds on that wallet, just like 15 or no, $17. And that is way more than enough for what we actually need to get involved with this. So I'm going to add the artwork first. Let me go to desktop. I think I have it. There we go. I'm going to just select all of this. I'm going to call it seven token symbol. Go ahead and do S7N. That would be good. Let's type seven is your lucky number. There we go. Um, let's see. So we can um, directly send one or multiple NFTs for free. No, we're going to be clicking on create collection. As you can see, we already have all this here. So we can double check if everything is correct right here. So we have seven numbers. Cool. We're going to click on create collection. Then here we can add the minting fee and also the edition size, which comes automatically. So it is basically seven. So let me go ahead and do zero, zero, one and advanced options. Let's see if you need to change the wallet address to receive those funds. You can actually do it, uh, but this is the collection owner, which is myself. You can remove sales fees with our booster pack. Let's see what else. And here we have the royalties. Let's go ahead and add 5%. And basically you can just leave everything else as it is right here. So let's go ahead and click deploy. The images is uploading. Okay, let's go ahead and confirm that you know a wallet, even though it says $1.19, it will be actually cheaper than that. And there you go. We're basically done. We still have some more steps to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and show you. We're going to go to the project dashboard. We're going to go to mint settings. We're going to change this to public. We're going to update. We're going to confirm it in our wallet. There we go. Let me double check how much I actually spent on the previous transaction. So as you can see, 46 cents and I think it was like $1.19. That one was like 22 and so half, just 11 cents. Perfect. Let's see what else we have to do. Mint your supporter pin, which is also great because we are getting an NFT, even though this is not really worth anything. But hey, we are at least adding more and more transactions on ZK Sync. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do confirm. We're good to go. Let me verify. There we go. Let's see. Ready to mint. Mint the project. Mint in page. We should be ready to mint. Let's see, mint and page tab. Uh, oh, okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Mint and page. Let me double check that everything is correct. Yep, actually looks good. Let's go ahead and visit the page. There we go. So as you can see here, I have all my NFTs. So if you, one of you guys want to purchase one, 
would be great so i can make one dollar <laughs> on my nft collection and also hey you guys can also add the link of your nft collection so in between all of us we can just go and start purchasing um some nfts and also increase our water transactions so let's see what else we have so we're good on that ready to mint discord you can also join their discord group and let's see whitelist and airdrops this is just a feature if you want to whitelist someone or you want to use airdrops for your nfts it is not something that i'm really interested let's see create a token gated um content we don't need that but if you want to you can go with it we have um email tip to your nfts on chain affiliation activate on chain mint let's see if you set 10% commission and you use a discount, it will be received. So basically, if you are really creating a community, you can also have um, affiliates. And booster packs, which is something from them that you can purchase so you can lower the amount of um, percentage that they are receiving. Since this is just a test, I don't really need to use it because I am not really creating a big community here. And lastly, we have also some guides. So if my guide is not enough, you can double check and see all of this. To increase, ooh, I haven't seen that. Complete all this stuff to increase the ch chances of getting the airdrop. So there is an airdrop. Ha, huh. interesting. So that means now the best thing actually to do is go ahead and try to do everything so hopefully you can also receive an airdrop i actually didn't see that yesterday so that's great um if we go here on dashboard we have seven everything looks good here create owner mm -mm. so yeah actually everything looks pretty good if let me see if i can see the website so again minting page we have this so to be honest everything is working properly and there you go so basically yes in the end we will receive an airdrop for using the platform and again you will be adding some volume on zk sync if there is any question that you need to ask as usual just drop it in the comment section and if this content was valuable enough please show it to the friend subscribe like happy farming guys bye bye